We're here at the newly reopened Queen Theater in the city of Wilmington's Loma District. And this is also the newest home of World Cafe Live. Joining me here today is Tina Betts, Wilmington's Cultural Affairs Director. You are our first person this week. Well, thank you, Shirley. <laughs> um, you know, let's talk about how excited you got to be seeing the Queen finally open. Oh my goodness, yes. I, I grew up here in Wilmington. And uh, the last time the Queen had a full-fledged uh, operation was in 1959. So it's been a long time coming, and it's extremely e exciting to, to build on the already wonderful inventory of arts organizations and presenting venues that we already have here how, in the city of Wilmington. How long is the planning go back? I mean, how far does it go back? Well, you know, I mentioned 1959. Uh -huh. Honestly, <laughs> I think that people have been talking about what to do with this particular building since it closed. Um, this plan just several years ago, this has really been on the fast track. Mm -hmm. And with so many partners, uh, you know, it's, it was able to open in a fairly short amount of time. You know, the you've got the Grand on one end downtown, and then you have this on the opposite end. How would you rate the Queen's opening, you know, on a scale from one to ten, one being the most important um, in elevating its role in elevating the city's arts and culture scene? Well, I, I definitely would have to say that it's a ten plus. Mm -hmm. You know, um, as I mentioned, we already have a very healthy art scene here in the city of Wilmington. You mentioned the Grand and the DuPont Theater. You know, both the DuPont Theater is really at one end, the Grand a little bit further south, and then uh, the Queen Theater now just about in the middle with Loma District coming along about 2nd and Marcus Street all the way up. So this is an extremely important ingredient in a, a really wonderful recipe that we have cooking here in Wilmington to continue the analogy. Best case <laughs> scenario, what does it do? It downtown. just brings attention to what is possible downtown. And also it helps bring attention to what's already going on downtown. We know that there are a lot of people who have their eyes on the Queen and they're counting on its success. So uh, the people who have not been downtown, we expect will come down because of Queen and World Cafe Live that comes with a reputation uh, because of its success in Philadelphia. So we're hoping that people uh, who haven't been here uh, will discover us and people who haven't been here for a while will find something new to discover in the Queen and World Cafe Live. Tina, on a scale from one to 10, how important is the Queen's opening to Wilmington's arts and culture scene? Well, on a scale to one to 10, I'd have to take it off the scale <laughs> to a 10 plus. This is an extremely important uh, part of the rebuilding of downtown Wilmington. Uh, we have a really firm foundation with the existing arts organizations that are here, but this is a huge part of the, of the puzzle. Um, it's, we've been doing this a bit by bit, and the Queen will certainly make life um, a whole lot better uh, for our citizens and for people who are coming into Wilmington to uh, discover Wilmington for the first time and to revisit Wilmington after a long time away. For a lot of residents who maybe haven't come downtown downtown in a while, do you think that they'll be surprised to see the changes that have already happened here? We hope so. And uh, we think that when if they are surprised, they will be pleasantly surprised. I think that there are a lot of people who haven't been downtown, who have been following the successes of downtown Wilmington from afar. But there will be nothing like experience it up close and personal. So we know that they will be pleased, they will be surprised, and they, they will come back frequently. As far as an economic impact from the Queen, what do you see happening here on Market Street? now that it's open? Well, World Cafe Live, of course, is a huge part of, the, of uh, the, the Queen establishment, as well as WXPN. And both of those organizations bring with them a, a stellar reputation, and they're very well known. So we expect that there will be a lot of people, a lot of uh, current fans of WXPN and World Cafe Live in Philadelphia who will come to visit us here in Wilmington. And of course, while they're here, um, they will contribute to the economic vitality of Wilmington by spending their money here inside the Queen at World Cafe Live and also by visiting other establishments outside of this building. Okay, and, and what's coming up the pike now for the city? Well, you know, all I can say is keep your eyes open <laughs> because we are on the move. Uh, the, the Queen Theater and World Cafe Live, uh, you know, just explains and, and confirms to people just how much we are capable of doing. Mm -hmm. So this is just the beginning. I think people underestimate the city of Wilmington too. You know, we're we're pitted between Washington DC and Philadelphia, but we have a lot of our own 
oomph, you know, and I think that goes unrecognized. We definitely do. <laughs> I mean, our slogan is Wilmington in the middle of it all. Mm -hmm. And you're absolutely right. We're in between a lot of giants. And sometimes we have to survive being in the shadow of so many wonderful cities like Philadelphia, New York, DC, and Baltimore. But we are an absolutely fabulous place for people to come. And we're so easy to get to, mm -hmm. so easy to be. Um, uh, when you're here, it's a very comfortable place. So people are just discovering us and we are very glad that they are. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank now, you, Shirley.